What's up my friends? Thanks for joining us on today's video. I'm warming up this morning, rolling some wraps. I'm going to make some crunchy ones for homemade tacos tonight and some soft ones that I put in the freezer and we use on a daily basis. Spring's still about a month away, but it's a great time to start some seedlings. Onions, carrots, pumpkins, cucumbers, we have some flower seedlings on top, beans, broccoli, and heaps of others. Somebody gave us this plastic drawer set, but it is perfect for starting seedlings in the cooler weather, giving them protection from the cold and the frost. And it just so happens to be full moon, so these seedlings will have a great start to their life. Homemade tacos. Everything you see here has been homemade. The wraps, the sweet chili sauce, and the taco seasoning. I have finally finished off the wire netting structure in the day ponds. I've put some rubber caps up the top of all the posts. These rubber caps are going to help the netting from not getting caught on the posts, protecting it so it doesn't get holes in it. While Anthony's busy finishing off the excavation, I'm tending to every post and the bracing wire, making sure it's tight. I'm also tensioning the cross wires, and I'm so thrilled to say this is the last task to do here. Now we just have to wait for the netting to arrive. Of course, we undertake our weekly harvest as usual. And I'm very much enjoying the bountiful harvest from my garden. It definitely makes my soul happy. Vegetable curry for tonight's dinner. Plenty of sourdough bread baking as usual. School lunch baking. The family enjoyed some delicious banana bread. And of course, completing countless daily chores. I quite enjoy the daily chores though. I love being active and I love seeing my family and me reap the benefits, such as a warm toasty fire at night. And clean clothes to wear that are chemical free. Yes, I'm one of those people who are concerned with the amount of toxins that are in the environment these days. And where possible, I try to reduce them for the health of not only me and my family, but of course the planet. Our son's birthday is coming up and for eight months, his little cubby has just been four posts in the ground. He's been very patient, but the time has come that I have to get into this project and finish it off before his birthday. He has attempted many builds himself with just moving pallets around and placing sheets over them. But of course it always falls down and I feel so bad when I see him out there struggling. His little heart really does desire a cubby house. It brings me back to my childhood and I would always ask my dad to build things for me. He had great intentions and said he would, but of course they never eventuated. Sorry, dad, I know you were super busy as a parent. And here's that delicious veggie curry for dinner. Day two of the build. Clearly Byron found this yesterday and he's already kitted it out. So he's pretty keen. The roof's getting screwed down. And of course, I'm gonna attach the pallets at the side, attach some tin on the sides and create a bit of a floor. 
Now, this is not the most amazing cover you've ever seen, but it is all built from recycled materials. And I love the fact that from the house and the kitchen window, I can see into this cubby. So when we have friends over, I don't have to worry that they're doing something wrong. Or of course, if we have little people like two-year-olds, I can keep an eye on them from the window. I love the fact that this cubby is a sort of open-ended cubby. It's got a lot of room for creative play. So if they want to, they can add sheets or barriers, essentially allowing this cubby to be transformed into many different things. Now, as I attach this tin, I am well aware that tin can be quite sharp. So I'm doing my best to make sure edges are hidden by wood where they won't be caught by little hands. I've also sandpapered down sharp edges and bits that were sticking out. Now, if the cubby looks like it's on a lean, that's because it is actually built on a gentle slope. So I have adjusted things to accommodate that in the build. And that's me done for the week. Next week, I hope to show you a photo of this build completed. Thanks for watching everyone, have a great week.